We are Ben and MP, and this is Sailing Yaba, or better, Fixing Yaba. So what does the day here look like? It's a nice Thursday morning here. I just was working on some of the hinges for the doors that are going to go on top of the galley. Nico is down there filling some of the last little holes, I guess, in the boat. Uh, Apache is down there going to start welding some supports for the platform. And I've got my favorite hat on from Anson Marine, which we got in Annapolis. I was trying to not use it here to get dirty. I was keeping it for kayaking and surfing and fishing and stuff like that. But it's so hot here and it's such a good hat that I decided to wear it. So I'll tell you, there's this rule that if you're trying to keep something clean in a place like your shipyard, it will get dirty. But it's super functional, comfy, and it sticks on my head. Go check them out, by the way. Well, howdy, y'all. Well, did you miss me? Go on and say I told you so. Yeah, now I know the straight life is a no-go. Yeah, I was wrong. I tried to get domesticated, but yesterday I finally uh -huh. couldn't take it. And I was gone. I probably should have told my wife, but the minute I saw the light, I just dug out my boots. We've just come back from the metal shop, and after having some bad davits welded in the beginning. I decided now for the these, which are gonna go underneath the platform, which are gonna prevent it from lifting if a wave hits it, and also from dropping from the weight being stood on it. Uh, we didn't wanna go too thin, so we went too thick. I don't know what the measurements are exactly, but I know we've got, we've made it too strong, but uh, this will definitely work. I dressed up in a suit and tie, pulled out the driveway, 745. Yeah, in the morning. We started having big feet. She made me trade my Harley for a Kia. Oh, help me, Lord. I saw my reflection in the bed and I thought, this ain't who I am. So I dug out my boots and threw out the candy pack, sold the bed and got my old Harley back, cranked up the bike and flew out the cul de sac, straight to the nearest bar. ACDC on the jukebox, back and back, got so drunk, I sing it like a maniac, smoked so much, I about had a heart attack. And I woke up in someone's yard. Rascal. These upper, are they called hatches or doors? Doors of the upper cupboard on top of the sink are looking epic. We're so happy we have them. We've got this tall storage here on the right of the sink and a very big storage area. They don't have handles yet. They do have pistons, huge. We're probably gonna put another shelf halfway. We had to open them this way because this beam would be in the way if we had to open them normally. I quite like this. For now, they're in place. You get to see the inclination of the boat while we're building the interior over here.
the second layer of epoxy on the port side is nearly ready. Uh, the final layer of epoxy as well. It's nice and shiny again as it had been sanded down lightly to put on the second layer. I am on standby to make resin when they need it and also I'm the drone pilot so I do not have a roller in my hands. But uh, yeah, I'm very focused as you can see from my new glasses. What this is, is like horses. So they stay concentrated and don't get distracted from what else is happening. So I can look straight on and work hard. That's been happening up in the boat and also I've been wake making some of the windows extra watertight with a bunch of Seeker Flex unscrewing and re-screwing to make them good and seaworthy. In the meantime, Nick on Apache here. This is the second layer of the, on the transom already. There's already two layers on starboard, two layers on port. I think all that's missing is a little bit of bulwark on top of the platform and the bulwark on the port side, but all the rest is done. Next step of this is the grey stuff. Cool grey stuff. So guys, we have just reached 80,000 subscribers, which for us is absolutely amazing. We cannot believe how much you guys have been supporting us by just clicking that subscribe button and following our journey so far. So everyone who's subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much that means to us. One thing I would like to say is, our goal is to eventually reach 100,000. But I'll tell you right now, it might give some of you an incentive to subscribe who haven't subscribed yet is I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time, but MP wouldn't let me because it was just a very stupid idea. But hey, I'm full of stupid ideas. My idea is, that wasn't a machine gun, it was a drum roll. When we reach 100,000 subscribers, I am going to spend a night, probably in a hammock, between those masts. Might be a hammock, might be a little platform, whatever. And I've wanted to do that in a while, since I've watched Bo Miles' video of him sleeping up in a gum tree in Australia. But yeah, I want to sleep up in between those masts to celebrate 100,000 subscribers if we ever get there. But that all depends on you guys. So get clicking that subscribe button. And um, when we've reached 100,000, hopefully on land and not in the water, because imagine sleeping up there while we're in the water. I'm going to be up there. I'll keep it as safe as possible. 
but it's going to be an adventure. So I'm saying it again, for all of you who haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. <laughs> the mission of saving our dinghy is going ahead. This is all we have right now. And also, I know we're not going in the water soon, but it would be really nice to have the dinghy to at least be on the water. So the tent, it's been inflated, cleaned roughly. And now we're going to do the bubble test where you add a lot of washing up liquid. And you just see where the air comes out will just create lots of bubbles. What that mood? Poncha. We have managed to get the inflatable looking like this after one and a half days, which isn't very impressive. However, we have found two definite holes and also we have covered up one, two, I think five maybe holes or things that will become holes. I know you're supposed to use like a PVC glue and the patch, which I have done in the past. However, this is called flex tape, strong rubberized waterproof tape, which comes with a warning that once you apply it, it will not come off. So. This isn't the common way of fixing an inflatable dinghy, but I'll tell you, if this works, you will know, and then this might be what to be done in the future. Of course, we'll have to let you know after a certain time of using it, but it definitely looks very, very, very sturdy, this tape. So we're gonna give a go at inflating this and see how long it stays inflated. We 
you can see a lot of the interior is taking a lot of shape right now, which I'm stoked about. You can really, 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 well, now that these doors are open, you can't really see it, see that we're creating a home. Now, uh, one thing that we want to move on to next, which is something I'm really excited about, is access holes or access hatches that are going to go under the cushions, under the sofa. We want to make them as big as possible so we can fit in big stuff, batteries, access batteries and all that with the structure still staying intact. Now the plywood itself is 15 millimeters, so it is strong enough. We just need to make sure the supports are strong. We're gonna measure where the supports are or the kind of seat beams or sofa beams where it's resting on top so that we can really make those holes as big as possible. So yeah guys, you can see that a lot's going on at the same time on this boat. We're trying to show you interior building as well as electrics. We're going to film engine work soon. We're doing a lot on top of the deck, adding lots of stainless steel to the boat. However, now in this episode, we focus a lot on the two first layers of epoxy resin that are going on the boat. The next steps are to sand that down and we're going to start adding some primers. So that should make the boat look nice and protected before we move over to the real actual paint. So that will be soon. Hang in there, we've got loads and loads and loads of stuff to show you, but that will be for next week. See ya! <laughs> I could cry right now and I mean it. We are about to paint the boat and that should really be a celebration, but just thinking about covering the wood really makes me want to cry. <laughs> I know it's for the best, but it's just making me so sad. But this means we are going to be a very, 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 very big step closer to... Let's do this. Let's do this. What's really funny is MP and I both don't know what colors the primers are, so we don't know what color we're going to be painting it now. <laughs> is it going to be gray? I think gray or white. What do you think? I think white. I'll say gray. Okay. Comment now before you actually see the result what you think it's going to be. Shall we bet on something? Whoever is wrong has to dance. <laughs> okay, we'll see. <laughs> before we head off and see you next week, we want to thank Brian and Bob for joining us on Patreon. We hope you enjoy it over there. Thank you Bill and Brenda for supporting us through PayPal. And thank you so much Michael, Duane, Douglas, Wiley and Joseph for giving us a super thanks on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, over there is where our first anchorage of your bat is going to be. Somewhere about there, where my finger is. <laughs>